It's a chilly day in the neighborhood, a chilly day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Well, hi guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I've come down here to my shop and I'm working on a project to do with my K301 Kohler. You can see here that I have sandblasted my head and got it all nice and clean. Look at that puppy. It looks almost like brand new. But you can also see that I have a major problem. You see any threads down in that hole? Nope. There ain't no threads because they all get stripped out. So I'm making a jig and then I'm going to show you how to install a helicoil when your spark plug gets stripped out. So hold on to your hats because here we go. Now the first thing you got to do is you got to make a jig to uh, mount your head to so that you can keep it from sliding around and all that good stuff. So I found this piece of plywood and I cut it down and I've drilled a hole in it so that I have clearance underneath and I'm going to put sides around this and then I'm going to put a cleat on it so I can mount this in my vise. I'll show you how that works. Okay, we've got three sides on here now. And I'm going to clamp this to my fence. This is what I've been doing to assemble it. I clamp it to my table saw fence. That way it holds still while I am pre-drilling. Clamp that on there like that. And then I pop this up on here like this. And I gotta pre-drill the holes. Otherwise they'll split, don't you know? So before I screw this down, I gotta pre-drill it because if I don't, it will split it. I like using these uh, tapered bits. See that? And it has the countersink attached right to it. Yep, all in one operation with a tapered bit. Your screw is much more able to grab because your screws got points on them, you know? There you go. No crack, no split. We'll do the other end. These are just scraps of wood that I have laying around my shop. This is going to hold our head in place. Now the one thing we got left to do, you can see there's our box, get the edges around it and our head. You get your hole on this end, here's the hole in your head. You're going to take your head and you're going to drop it right in there and it's a snug fit so it's going to stay right there. It ain't going to move around. It's got a little tiny bit of play but that's nothing and in fact I could take care of that we're just using a piece of shim shingle. Not that that little bit is going to be critical anyway. A piece of shim shingle, did he say? Not even a piece of shim shingle. A piece of scrap wood again. One of the benefits of doing carpentry work as well as mechanic work, you know? I'm doubly blessed and some people might think I'm doubly cursed. I don't know. There we go. Now it, it won't hardly move at all. So now the only thing left to do is I need to put a cleat across the bottom so I can clamp this in my vise. 
So all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take a piece of this same stuff I use for the outside edges because I have some left. Just like this. And let's see how am I going to want to, I think I'm going to put it across this away. So I'm just going to lay it on here like that and I'm going to mark it on the bottom side cut that on the miter saw now all we got to do Take this, put it right on there. Put a couple of screws in it to hold it in place. And then we can take it in and clamp it in the vise, Jed. You know, you know my friend Jed, Jed, clamp it. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this puppy, we'll loosen the vise up here, drop that piece of block of wood down in there, and now our head is firmly in place and ready for us to do our helicoil. So these are the things that you're going to need to uh, put a helicoil into your engine, and uh, I got this save a thread helicoil kit and it comes with the tap here this is the thread uh, helicoil spreader and three different sizes of helicoil length and I'm going to be using the middle size that, that's because it matches best with the spark plug that I'm going to be using and the reason I show the spark plug here is I have actually taken the washer off so that I have a nice flat surface because it's important when we put this in to get this down flush with the top of the head surface. So I've sacrificed the spark plug, had to cut that crush washer off. And then finally, as you're putting it in, you need to use some... Uh, silicone high performance so I got this ultra ultra gray that we're going to be using so hold on to your hats let's get on with it so now we have our holder for our head and we'll set our head down in place and it's a snug fit so it's not going to move around I got a little shim here because it was a little bit loose that way that it wouldn't have really been crucial and uh, we need to make sure that we lubricate the hole before we start with our tap. And we're going to lubricate our tap as well. And we'll get it started. Finger, working it in with a finger tight. My threads, as I showed you, are completely gone. And now we're going to work it down in there using the threaded insert. And it cuts them nice and cleanly. Make sure we give it plenty of lubricant.
feels like it must have gone all the way through because it's yep it's cut all the way through nice and clean now we'll back it off and I think I might be able to just take it out by hand look it out nicely that comes out This is aluminum head. You can use it on cast iron heads, I understand. Now let me get you down in there really close so you can see that thing. You see those nice threads down in there? I'm trying to hold you without making too much movement. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay, now I gotta clean that all off so that we can put our insert in there. Hold on to your hats. I'm gonna I'm gonna use some uh, brake clean on it. Don't squirt yourself in the eyes. Looks good from here. And I'm going to get my air hose over and blow it out. Okay, we'll blow this thing off now. Pull it out of here and make sure I got none, no chips underneath. So now the next thing we're going to do is going to put. Make sure we get these threads clean here. See some dirt in there. Don't want that. I'm gonna put some silicone on the helicoil. Oh, we're gonna take the silicone. If I keep my hands from shaking. Put it all the way around on these threads. I tell you guys, getting old ain't for sissies. Things that you used to do and take for granted are a whole lot harder to do. It takes longer to do them and your stamina isn't what it used to be. Okay, now, this, uh, I failed to show you that, maybe I can show it to you now. On the top end of this insert, it has notches in it all the way around, down for about four threads. And that's to help lock it in place. That goes at the top, not at the bottom. You don't want it down in the cylinder. Now, I'm going to thread this onto my spark plug here. And this will help me to install it in place. If I can do it without shaking too much. Part of the shaking is because I'm an old man, you know, but also part of the shaking is because it's only 20 degrees out here 
and I wanted to get this finished up. I started it yesterday, and my wife called me in for dinner, and I never made it back out again. And so we're going to run this down until it's flush. I'm going to back it out, see if my spark plug will come out without the insert. It should. If the insert comes back out, then I'll redo it. Oh, it came out part of the way because it's important that that be in there all the way. So it sits flush with the top of your cylinder head. Well, my spark plug keeps pulling it back out again. You can see how much silicone I have oozed out around the top, which is a good thing. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this tool here, which has a little bit of a taper to it and a little bit of a shoulder. I'm going to stick that right down in there. Looks like I need to come back up just a hair. You want it to be flush with the top. That feels pretty good right there. We're going to stick that in there. I'm going to give it a wrap with the hammer. And that seats it. Just like that. And you see how it seated the top two or three threads out so it grabs a hold of there and that keeps it from coming out and the silicone as well you have to let the silicone set for 24 hours and because it's colder here and I won't be using it right away anyway it's it'll set for quite a while before I use it that's how you put in a helicoil and that's how we did it today on the head for our th Kohler K301 Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Thumbs up, sharing, all them good things. Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching. Bye now. Oh, you said you wanted to see what it looked like on the bottom end. Well, there it is, and it's nice and flush there, too. Bye now.